designed as the successor to the F9F Panther. Introduced in 1953, the F9 Cougar was too late to enter the Korean War. During the Vietnam War, she participated in the first forward air control and the airborne command role, directing air strikes against enemy positions in South Vietnam between 1966 and 1968. The Navy considered the Cougar an updated version of the Panther, despite having a different officer name, the F9F-6. Built as a carrier-based fighter aircraft for the United States Navy and United States Marine Corps, the Cougar has several design differences from its predecessor. The Panther's straight wing was replaced by more modern square wing. The arrival of the Soviet MiG-15 square wing fighter spurred the U.S. military's interest in similar square wing fighters famously North American F-86 Cyber Series. The F-9F-6 had a length of 12.47 meters, a wingspan of 10.52 meters, a width of 4.32 meters, a height of 3.74 meters, an empty weight of 5.2 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of 9.5 tons. The Cougar had 35 degree square wings, and unlike the original Panthers, the aircraft did not have a wing tip fuel tank. The aircraft only retained the main forward portion of the Panthers fuselage, while the wings and some of the empennage were of largely new design. Wing roots were lengthened, though retaining similar triangular intakes as on the Panther. Retractable undercarriage with two single-wheel main legs and a single-wheel nose leg. As an aircraft carrier-based fighter, a hook was fitted under the tail. Compared with its predecessor, thrust was also increased with the installation of a newer, more powerful engine. Cougar was powered by a Pratt and Whitney J48 P8 centrifugal flow turbojet engine with 32.2 kN of thrust. The fighter could reach a top speed of 654 miles per hour at sea level with a cruising speed of 541 miles per hour. Combat range was 293 miles. Service ceiling was 44,500 feet. Weight of climb was 6,750 feet per minute. Armament was for 20 mm cannons in the nose and provisions for two 1,000 power bombs or 150 US gallon drop tanks under the wings. Most were fitted with a UHF homing antenna under the nose, and some were fitted with probes for in flight refueling. The F 9F 6 used an Aero 5D 1 weapon sight with an APG 30A gun ranging radar. The F 9F 6 were later designated F 9F in 1962. 60 were built as F-9F-6P reconnaissance aircraft with cameras instead of the nose cannon. Either way, Cougar was an outstanding product of Grumman. On April 1, 1954, the F-9F-6 made its first intercontinental flight in less than four hours and training variants of this aircraft remain in service until 1974. After withdrawal from active service, many F-9F-6 were used 
as unmanned drones for combat training, designated F9F6D, or as drone controllers, designated F9F6K. Mm-hmm.